Hi everyone, it's Michelle Carlisle again with another Community Connection on the Wentzville Park Bench. I'm here with Tommy and Tara Holstein and they run Solid Ground. Tell us what that is, because it kind of sounds like you're digging in the dirt, but I know that's not what's going on. <laughs> we do like to play in the dirt. <laughs> right, who uh, doesn't? <laughs> so we're a, we're a custom deck and patio company. We specialize in custom decks, uh, outdoor kitchens, fire features, wow. things like that. Okay, that's awesome. So you do kind of sort of play in the dirt. We do, yes. yes but <laughs> for at least foundations. <laughs> yep, absolutely. <laughs> awesome. How did you get started doing doing decks? Is it just a, a lifelong love of, of construction or? <laughs> it's, actually a, it's actually a funny story. Um, years ago, Tommy was in sales um, and he was really good at it and loved, loved the industry, but was just not feeling that fulfillment. Yeah. And at the time we were building two decks onto our, our home, our own home with a pool and him and his father were installing it. And I walked out there one day and I'm just like, Babe, this is what you should be doing for a living. Because this rocks! I don't! <laughs> and this was, uh, I think, 2008, 2009? Yeah, I think yeah. So. yeah, and that was just kind of... That was your aha, uh -huh, holy was. cow moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we always enjoyed building. My father was a carpenter. We, mm -hmm. um, you know, we worked together for years, um, even, you know, 30 years ago, building decks for his clients. Uh, but the thought of me doing that for a living just never really made sense. I mean, it, um, it's funny. And the opportunity to grow a business, growing a business is difficult. Yes. Um, you know, having, having that opportunity and taking that opportunity was scary. Uh, but we, you know, we made it work and it, yeah. it's been great. It's. Yeah. It's still fun. It's fun to build and, and That's create important. things. So. Enjoying what you do makes a big difference sure, in how you absolutely. feel at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. I think we're, as a society, we're conditioned to, I get up, I go to work, I do my due diligence at the job, and then I can come home and do what I want to do. That's not necessarily how it has to work. And right. mm -hmm. if you find something that you're passionate about and there's a need for it, Spectacular. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I know like everybody else, you're probably facing some challenges. No businesses without them. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of things are you guys kind of beating your head against the wall with right now? Because <laughs> um, <laughs> there's always yeah. something. Yeah. yeah. You know, supply chain, COVID is typically blamed for everything oh, right sure. now. And it's, uh, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, it's, it's a reality. Um, supply chain is difficult for everyone. Uh, we do have the benefit that we do have a lot of material stock in St. Louis. Uh, oh, so so in both difference. of our, you know, decking, framing, uh, railing systems, there's a pretty good inventory. Uh, we also order material as soon as a job is booked. So as soon as a client makes their deposit, we order the material that day. That does a number of things. For for one, it gets material, you know, started um, either delivered if it needs to be, or uh, you know, delivered to St. Louis if necessary, or um, you know, kind of allocated for that particular job. The other thing, and probably more important to clients, is it's going to lock in their price. They're not going to be subject to you know yes. these huge price swings. Um, you know, we've. Last week, we had a, a price increase of 72% on pressure-treated lumber, 72% overnight. Um, you know, the, the jobs that we have booked through April are already, you know, materials already purchased, already allocated, and those clients are protected. Good you know, for them. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> not always that's the huge. case in construction. Yeah. So, well, and you use... Um, you don't use pressure treated lumber for your, your decking, that's just your support structure. And, that's correct. Okay, because yeah. you use the composite material and metal. Correct. For the deck, yeah. the railings. Yep. So, so we do all composite, um, all composite decking, all metal uh, railings. Okay. We also offer uh, steel framing. So should a client have a home that um, 
you know, more of a high-end build. They're looking at long-term, this is a forever home. We have steel framing available that we can build a deck with without the use of any lumber. Nice. So cut out that pressure-treated 72% increase Absolutely. altogether. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So. Awesome. I'm, I'm sure you guys in the, let's see, doing the math in my head here, in the now 14 years that you've been in business, mm -hmm. what what keeps motivating you? What is driving you to, to continue to grow your business? And <laughs> you know, it's um, it's still fun. Yeah. It really is. You know, you're uh, you know people make the the connection to you know working with you know Legos or playing with um, the you know Lincoln Log set. <laughs> Those but, are fun. Like we all did when we were kids. You know, we all grew up playing with stuff. You know, or building things, creating things. Uh, we still get to do that, mm -hmm. you know. We still get to. It's like playing in a sandbox. Yeah, yeah you, you get paid right. to, to play. Yeah. And there's a sense of accomplishment every day. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of a lot of jobs may not have that that sense of accomplishment at the end of a job. Uh, some career paths, you know, you might work on a project that is, you know, years in the making, mm -hmm. and you don't see that that sense of completion. We have almost every day our crews have a sense of accomplishment. Oh, that's uh, awesome. You know, our guys often are, you know, you, you'll see them kind of taking pictures of different parts of a job that, like, they're like, I did that, you know, mm -hmm. and that's important. That, um, that pride in your craftsmanship. Uh, and it it's might a, not even be something that is visible when the project is done. Absolutely. So mm -hmm. if you don't take that picture, mm -hmm. I grew up in a house under construction. I understand that completely. <laughs> yeah. Look, this was done the right way. Yeah, <laughs> sure, absolutely. So it's, oh. uh, I, I think that's the biggest part. You know, we, yeah. we still enjoy it. We enjoy working with the, working with clients to create their vision or, mm -hmm. you know, create their dream. Uh, you know, there's a lot of times where projects kind of come together when a client says something almost joking, like, oh man, it'd be so cool. Let's put a zip line off the deck. It's like, well, hold on. Like, we why can't? Let's put a zip line off <laughs> this deck. Let's really you know, play. Yeah. <laughs> let's really investigate this. Uh, or when, you know, the, the seven year old says, well, can we put a slide on the deck? And the parents are like, no, you can't put slides on decks. Why not? It's like, well, well hold on. <laughs> we can put a slide on that. I, and I mean, yeah. is, would there be a better sound than the, the pitter-patter of your grandkids' footsteps coming up the steps and just all Zoop. day long? <laughs> you know? Hey, you so, know they're not getting into any other trouble yeah. if yeah. they keep coming up and sliding down. Absolutely. So, yeah. so a lot of fun. I mean, it, it really is. We get, to, we get to play at work all day. So... That does sound awesome. Yeah. It makes a difference when you can do for yourself what you really want to do and make other people happy. Mm -hmm. That is an amazing feeling. Absolutely. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Is there anything that is just something that people don't know about deck building that they really should? Because uh, all businesses have, yeah. have that. You know, it's. You wish people knew. It's definitely not. One deck builder, you know, they're not all created equally. We're, we're just not. Uh, there are there are people that they have a truck and a hammer, and they think they're going to go out and build decks for a living. And you know, quite honestly, that's where I started. You know, the the deck that I would build, you know, thirty years ago with my father, um, you know, as we were starting out, is significantly different than what we build today in quality and, you know, in quality of material more than anything. Um, there are, there are certain things about a deck that have to be done that are easily overlooked. Lots of contractors or, you know, people that are, that are building something. Sometimes they're not doing things um, maliciously. They just don't know, you know, a guy that hangs drywall all day is an absolute craftsman at his trade. Absolutely. But that doesn't mean he can come <laughs> home and, and build a deck. It just, it's two different things. Yeah. You know, if if you specialize in something, it it really does get a better, better product, a better end result. Okay. And that's what we do. You know, we specialize in 
decks, outdoor kitchens, outdoor spaces. Okay. So if you're looking for something that's a, a high quality, long lasting piece of craftsmanship to add value to your home, your surroundings, a lot of people love the outdoor space since we're spending more time at home, these guys are the people to call. They know how to do it right and they know how to make it look really good. Check out some of the pictures that we'll have on the site and give Tommy and Tara Holstein a call.